Hello friends, I hope you are well. I would like to welcome you to today's video where I'll be shedding light on sickle scan. Before I go any further, I would like to request you to please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel by simply clicking that button on your right. Thank you. So what is sickle scan? Sickle scan is a rapid uh, test for sickle cell disease. It is a very important discovery in as far as tackling sickle cell disease is concerned and as Taco Sickle Cell Africa we are privileged to be having this test and to be extending it to the people who need a diagnosis for sickle cell. As we work towards establishing a sustainable newborn screening program at Taco Sickle Cell Africa, it is very important that we embrace rapid sickle cell diagnostics because uh, results are always available within very limited time and the client can be able to get a diagnosis and important interventions can be initiated as soon as possible. As compared to the traditional method of newborn screening, uh, for example, where samples have to be corrected and then transported up to the central laboratory, maybe in Kampala, uh, you find that uh, this method is associated with very many challenges. Uh, the turnaround time is too long and uh, most times uh, those clients are lost to follow up and that's how we lose most of the children born with a sickle cell disease here in Africa. So in this part one of the video I'll be exposing the contents of a sickle scan kit and uh, let's go in and see what is inside. First of all, we have to check the expiry date. Uh, so this one, uh, it's expiring on the 30th of March, 2025. So we have only around two months to use this one. Uh, so let's go in and see what is inside. From the instructions for use, it is important that you identify the materials not provided by the manufacturer, but are required. Materials such as lancets are very important. Then also you need uh, alcohol wipes or what you call the swabs. Then you also need the gloves that is really very obvious and also a timer to ensure that the test is given at the right time for it to run. Let's say you pricked the finger or you pricked the heel. So you use uh, this capillary sample to collect the blood sample and then add it to the buffer as we shall see in part two of the video where i'll be explaining everything about the procedure of how the test is done so after collecting the blood with the capillary sampler you add it in here in the buffer and then the buffer will help in hemolyzing the red blood cells so that they can release hemoglobin because uh, the sickle cell disease or sickle cell trait or normal status will be detected from the hemoglobin directory. So we also have the cartridges inside here. There is one cartridge. So after treating the sample with the buffer, you add five drops of the treated sample on the cartridge. And then as we shall see in part of the video, you're able to read the lines first of all the control line and then if the person has sickle cell disease you're able to see a line on the s if the person is not having sickle cell disease no sickle cell trait you see the line on a and if the person has a sickle cell trait you'll be able to see the line on both a and s but the line on the control must appear to show that the test has been able to run very well. See you in part two, where I'll be explaining the procedure of doing a sickle cell test with a sickle scan.